NFL Week 14 Gambling Picks. Uh, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can go check them out over at tunicatravel.com. they got six incredible sports books over there. Samstown, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Fitz Casino, Horseshoe, and Gold Strike. That's right. TunicaTravel.com has got more information on all six of them. Go check that bad boy out. You can also get in with us over at WinnieCuresEverything.com. we got your picks, your previews, your football picks contest, uh, social media stuff, our Facebook, our Twitter over there, our podcasts, all of our YouTube stuff. Go check that bad boy out, WinnieCuresEverything.com, in the football picks contest, which you can go and enter on Wednesday this week. Uh because <laughs> I didn't get it done tonight. It's Tuesday. Um, yeah, Kendrick C. from DeKalb, Mississippi. Went 9-1 and one last week. That's pretty strong. Championship week went 9-1. and one And won it outright. No tiebreaker needed. Well, no, not just, a lot of just people going 9-1 on here. Uh, so, I yeah, you can go enter in 10 picks against the spread. Do your thing. On the NFL, if you go 5-0 and oh against the spread, 5-0. and oh. Now, you got to tell us where you got your lines and exactly what the lines are that you were betting. And none of this crap about buying points or whatever. I, I, some of y'all been tossing that stuff in there. I appreciate y'all for being honest with me and all that, like I'm buying the points down to whatever. No. Just give me straight up lines. That's right. And we're just rolling like that. Give me five of them. You go five and oh, we're going to bring you on the show. We're going to let you call in, and we're going to talk this thing out. We're going to let you give picks the next go round, all right? So let's do this bad boy. All you got to do is 5-0. and oh. Leave your picks down in the comments. That's it. That's all. Easy. Sure. Easy. I'll tell you how easy it is. I went 1-4 and four last week. <laughs> Chris went 2-3. 2-3. Two and three. Two and three. My overall record. Wow. My overall record, 30-33-2. and two. That's rough, brother. That is real rough. That's tough. You are 37-25-3. and three. Even no, with a losing still, record, you are still killing this thing. Still You're still strong. still around 60%. It might be one of the, the worst week I've had. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. You've had another 2-3 and three week, but you've had a lot of 4-1s. and ones. Yep. And, and you're the only one that I know of that's going 5-0. and oh. So, let's uh, let's fire this bad boy off. Uh, game number one. You want game number one? I'll take game number no, one. No, game number one. Do your thing. I'm going Thursday night. I'm tighten up, baby. Tighten up. If you got any pride whatsoever, if this team has any pride about them whatsoever, they will whip this Jags team's butt. Jacksonville's a garbage football team. Look, I know that they completely shut down the Colts, but the Colts offense is a totally different kind of beast than the Titans. The Titans like to play dirty just like the Jags. You're not going to shut them down. We got a field goal kicker, man. We go kick them. We went to Jacksonville earlier in the season, one nine to six. Hey, we'll play you dirty. We'll get down in the mud. They got to cover by four this time. I think at home, I yep. think they're gonna beat them. I think there's a chance they can beat their butt. I, okay, I like that. I like that. Uh, game number one for me: Rams at the Bears. Taking the Bears plus three and a half. Trubisky supposed to be back at Sunday, seven twenty p.m. NBC at Soldier Field. Temperature kickoff will be twenty nine degrees. Okay, twenty degrees with wind chill. The Rams have no idea what to do in the cold. Nah, L.A. No don't, clue. They don't get like that. No, nah, the Rams are only three and three as a road favorite this year. Those covers, by the way, at Oakland, at San Francisco, at Detroit, Chicago ain't none of them. No, nope. the Bears five and one against the spread at home this year. I like Chicago here. I think Chicago's got a chance to win the game outright. Khalil Mack, grown ass man. Believe that. What's game number two for you? Bounce back, bounce back team. I'm on the Saints, baby. Give me the Saints. Going to Tampa Bay. I got them at eight and a half. It's a lot of points. I don't care. Look, they pissed off. They got less than 200 yards of total offense last week. They are going to have over 700 yards of total offense <laughs> this week. Against Tampa Bay, Come on, man. they might put up 1,000. That's one of my picks as well. I'm back they, on the Saints they again. They're going to kick that booty. And, and let me tell you something. Jameis, Jameis hadn't turned the ball over in a couple weeks. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Because you know we can't help him. But the Cowboys beat the Saints because of defense. That's right. And the Bucks don't have one of those. They don't have one of those at all. I mean, not Saints to mention, their butt. the Saints have extra days to prep for this. Oh, yeah, and, they got 10 days to get And the Bucks that boy. are one of only two teams that has beaten the Saints, and they put 48 on them in the first week. Revenge factor. Yes. It, I don't care that well, this James game is in Tampa Bay. No, it's, James it's didn't, clear. but but that should make it even better because yeah. James ain't putting 40 on these guys. No, no, sir. So, minus 8.5, man, this should have been double digits all day long. What uh, What's game number three for you? Game number three for me, I'm taking – it's a sizable road favorite, which I don't really like to do normally, but I'm going to guess you might have this game too, which makes me a little bit more iffy. I'm taking the Broncos, minus six against the 49ers. Look, you you, you got me coming around. The 49ers team is a dog-ass team. And the Broncos, hey, they're fighting for a playoff spot. Uh, yeah. I mean, they, they, right now, they got that sixth seed, and they got to hang on to it. They got to keep winning. Yep. Win by a touchdown, you're good. I, I don't like taking road favorites. I feel like the 49ers are better than what they've played, and they can show up. 
the thing that scares me about this, 49ers haven't played defense against anybody. Case Keenum has looked really good. Will he come back to earth? Is he going to turn back into a pumpkin? I don't think he does against San Francisco. I hope not. But even then, do you even really need Case Keenum? Yes. yes. Now, here's the thing. The, that the 49ers yes. put up nine points against Tampa Bay last week. And now you're playing the Broncos with Von Miller and that whole bunch? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. This is game number three for me as well. Does It feels like nobody realizes the Broncos have won and covered three straight. And the ones that they have covered at the Chargers, against the Steelers, and at the Bengals. And their defense shut them down. Nick Mullins has no chance here. No chance. <laughs> Yeah, Look, shines off that apple. Uh, the 49ers have lost and not covered in three straight. These are two teams headed in completely opposite directions. It The six-point line makes it feel like, and it's not like it's not one of those where oh, they're only favored by like two and you're going as some fishy's going on. Like six is still a pretty sizable number, but it is under a touchdown, and I think Philip Lindsay and that bunch is going to score. God, Philip Lindsay has been so amazing. Yeah, right, yeah. So I'm over here playing on my phone. I'm trying to find an updated line on my next game I got. Because I picked this thing last night, and now on um, my bookie, which we like to use sometimes, is uh, not giving me the game at all. So I'm going to stick with the line I got last night. And if it's way off for some reason, I'm in. I'm riding with my Buffalo Bills again. Uh, yeah, so they took Minus that off. And, and I think they took that off because uh, they cut uh, or they waived Kelvin Benjamin and yes. somebody else today. Yes. So I think that that's why that's off of there. The line is still up down in Tunica. Don't worry about the online stuff. Go down to Tunico. Put your bets in oh, down absolutely. there. Oh, absolutely. I'm just trying to verify it, how much it's moved since the, those moves, and, and I can't see how much it's moved. I got it at three and a half yesterday, uh, which it's Monday, man. That's it's real early, and I get that. Um, don't you might get a better price for it now. I mean, it might have come down to a pick'em or something like that. Listen, this Jets team is a dog team. The Bills defense will score enough points to cover. Is this at the Jets? No, uh, no, this is at the. Uh, yes, no, no, it's at Buffalo. It's in Buffalo. Yeah, All right, so it's I will Jets verify at- that one more time while you you give your picks. Sorry. I feel very unprepared. And it's, Bills, at, it's at Buffalo. It's okay, at Buffalo. Jets at Bills and Bills minus three and a half. Yes, Bills minus three and a half. And okay. I'm still seeing on Vegas Insider Bills minus three and a half. So. Okay, there you go. Uh, game number four for me, I'm going Monday night. Oh. Vikings at the Seahawks. I like the Seahawks minus three here. Okay. Monday at 7.15 p.m. It's on ESPN. Seattle is 6-1-1 one, one against the spread in their last eight. They're 7-5, number five seed in the NFC currently. They are fighting like hell to keep that spot. Minnesota needs this win. Seattle is not the place that I want to be when my back is against the wall. We kind of need Minnesota to take this win. Uh, all we can do now is push. That's why. I if if we got an over, it. like we got over ten, we gotta they got to win out. I don't think they're going out. Why not? That's a good team. Because I don't think they're beating the Seahawks. Well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, look, it, 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 this way, if the Vikings do win, I guess it was cool. Heads. Maybe I'll get there. Um, but I like the Seahawks here a lot at Russell Wilson. We'll be able to throw on this defense. Oh, he's been good, man. He's been yeah, he's on good. fire. And this rushing attack. Oh, no, it's crazy. Like The Vikings have not been good at stopping the run this and year. it's been a different running back. Like, one week it's Penny. The next week it's Carson. Like, next week it's yeah. somebody I've never heard of. Like, it's crazy. Sometimes it's Russell Wilson. Well, he does it all the time. I know. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. So, right. Seahawks minus three. That's game number four for me. My last game. My last pick. They had me eating some crow. I talked a lot of noise about him. Oh, Lord. You're not doing this. I'm going to Dallas. One more time. Give me the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> this Cowboys team is fraudulent. They're not going to win four in a row. They're what is it, three and a half this. or four and a half? Three and a half. Three and a half. I'll take four and a half. Eagles plus three me. and a half. Listen, I might need a, I might need those four and a half points, Um, that extra point. Uh, I don't know that I can believe in this. Listen, the Cowboys are going to be so excited for how good they played against the best team in football. And I think the Eagles are going to come in and just crap all over their party. I'm worried because the Cowboys had from last Thursday until Sunday. That's okay. And the Eagles had from Monday to That's Sunday. Okay. So That's all right. You don't have to get ready for that team. That offense ain't that great. <laughs> Game number five for me. The New York Super Giants. The hey. New York football Giants minus three and a half at Washington. Sunday, 12 p.m. The Giants have covered or pushed in five of the last six. They're four, uh, four one and one against the spread. They are playing real well right now. Mark Sanchez, who was on the couch three weeks ago as the skin starter right now, and there ain't nobody behind him. And if he breaks his leg, they in a whole world of hurt. Because at that point, you just got Adrian Peterson running the Wildcat. That's right. And you ain't even got, like, Darius Geis behind him. Nope. You got nothing. Uh, There are injuries across the board here. I understand the Redskins' defense is still fighting, but when that offense ain't putting anything up. Yeah, he kids you. The defense defense is going to get worn out. That's right. And and look, Eli. Bad field position. Everybody wants to talk about Eli being old and done and everything else. Look, he has been playing 
pretty dang well here lately. He's fine. He, he's still old and done, but he's fine. He's he's the same age as Philip Rivers. Yeah, but those two guys are. I know they're they, they way different dudes. Don't go to the way the different dudes. Rivers. He just had his nine kids. How do you even have nine kids uh, when you have had when you have I got eight two. kids? That's how, enough. How do you have the ninth one? Like, when do you even got time to do that? I you are got you me. Sure it's yours, Philip. I get one of them tested. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible. All right. Uh, let's do a rundown real quick. I got the Bears plus three and a half. Seahawks minus three. Broncos minus six. Saints minus eight and a half. And the Giants minus three and a half. Titans minus four. Saints minus eight and a half. Broncos minus six. Eagles plus three and a half. And the Bills minus three and a half. I like it. That is our NFL Week 14 gambling picks. As always, go down to Tunica, Mississippi. Get your picks in. We're giving you all the information you need to be a winner. TunicaTravel.com for more information on all six of their sportsbooks and you can get our picks, our previews, everything else over at winningcureseverything.com.